Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I am going to just be filming a chit chat, get ready with me. I know that's what my last video was about, but I have a lot of things to update you guys on, so let's get right into it. Okay, before we jump into the makeup portion, I'm going to talk about this hair. So if I'm looking down, it's because I like took a lot of notes because I'm really organized. So um, this is the Free Trust 2X Medium Faux Locks in it is 20 inches, so it stops like right underneath my boob. I'm 5'7". Um, this hair is really good, actually. Um, it took me two hours to install. It's $7.99, um, 24 locks in each pack. Um, this can be located at your local beauty supply or found on Amazon Prime. I'll link it down below. Um, the accessories that I put in were a dollar at my beauty supply, but also you can find on Amazon Prime. I'll link that down below. And 34 come in each pack of that for the accessories. So far, nothing but good things to say about this hair. That's one of my parting. Uh, I did do the cornrow method. I can link the video that I found below and I'm going to do this again. So when I do do it again, I'm going to make a video of myself doing it so I can show you guys how I did it and yeah so far nothing to say but good things about this hair very good quality um like I said I left some edges out they're not laid currently but I'm pretty sure that's okay but nothing to say but good things I'm going to try to have this in for a month so I'll try to do like a one month you know with this video um, if not, like I said, I'm going to make a video of me installing it into my own head, and yeah. Okay guys, jumping right into it. Um, if I'm looking right here or over here, I have my mirror right here and I have notes right here about things that I want to talk about. And I've gone ahead and placed my little headband that I got on. I got this like at the beauty supply for one dollar. I thought it was cute. Little two little pups, kind of reminds me of a panda bear or a polar bear I guess because it's fluffy. So, yeah, let's jump right into it. Okay, I'm gonna start with my eyebrows. Um, okay, so first thing that I wanna talk about is schooling for me. So as you guys know, this was my first year being a freshman in college and I'm not gonna lie to y'all, it was tough like overall like when you go to college you need to be prepared for what's ahead because I was not prepared whatsoever I personally have never really been a school person so me going in there just knowing that it was school all over again for four years I was not excited and not motivated at all whatsoever so my advice to graduating seniors not knowing what they're going to do and just going to college just because is don't do it you can save your money um, and if you're like I said if you're not ready then that's something that you don't want to do and so basically what I'm saying is like it just is not for me. College is not for me. At the end of the day, it's not for me. I've try I've been trying and stuff. My grades aren't awful, but for me to get where I wanted to be would take me so long. And originally, I didn't want to go to college. I wanted to go to cosmetology school. And my parents just wanted me to try out college to you know, get a degree in something and try it out and see how I would do in it. And as they've seen me in college, they see that it would take me a long time to get where I'm going. So um, they came to me with the idea of letting me go to cosmetology school in the fall. And I'm actually very excited to do that. Um, it's my passion and I'm very motivated about makeup and hair and it would give me more of an opportunity to, to expand on it so I am looking forward to doing that um, so as of right now my college 
tour or <laughs> my college days are on pause or on hold and hopefully they won't have to be played again. So I'm more than sure that I'm going to be successful in this whole cosmetology industry. So that's where I'm at with schooling right now. Okay, um, going on with the cosmetology conversation, I've also recently started a hair and makeup Instagram to show and build up my clientele. So, so far it's been going great. A few people have reached out to me, so that's really good. Um, I know in order for me to become successful, it's going to take that clientele and I'm gonna have to be out there, you know, making some moves in order to be where I want to be. Okay, I went on and finished my eyebrows off camera. They're okay, but I have recently bought the Morphe 3502 palette. I tape this so it's off to know the color, so I'm going to play in this. I usually don't do eyeshadow, so let's see what I come up with today. Keeping on with the conversation, I've recently been watching a lot of YouTube a lot and I've currently been loving Trisha Paytas, um, Raven Elise, who else, Jayla Corian and Brianna Marie. Those are the four people I've been watching as of lately. And I've just been loving the context on their channel. And the one I really mainly have been watching is Trisha Paytas. Um, I really enjoy her mukbangs. And she's been getting me to try a lot of foods. So I really have never been a Burger King fan. And... Y'all, I haven't been to Burger King maybe twice in this whole week. I tried um, their chicken fries again recently. Um, their breakfast, um, so their French toast, is $1 for like five, y'all. That's a deal. And their hash browns, iced coffee, and the spicy nuggets. That um, is their latest release and that came out on 420 and when I tell y'all those are the best chicken nuggets I have like those chicken nuggets are bomb like Trisha is is a food legend like I'm taking her advice on food now um but those chicken nuggets those chicken nuggets are, I'm probably gonna get those chicken nuggets today they're that good and 10 for 169 y'all that's a deal that is a deal. So as far as like new foods, it's all been kind of because of Trisha. So shout out to her, food legend, skinny legend. I will keep watching. So luckily for me, college ends on May 9th and I am so excited. So I guess my summer begins after that. Um, the, one of the first things I'm doing to kick off my summer is attending a concert. Um, I'm going to the TDE concert, stands for Top Dog Entertainment, and if you don't know what that is, it's Kendrick Lamar, SZA, Schoolboy Q, etc. So they are doing a concert, and luckily they are coming to Dallas, and I had to attend so, um, my boyfriend got us the tickets for my birth, one of my birthday presents, um, and we are going, so I'm very excited. Um, maybe I might vlog that, if not, then I don't, but maybe I will, um, probably be having too much fun to just, you know, whip out a camera and start recording, but if so i will vlog it um it's may 17th like i said it's kendrick lamar says a schoolboy q and 
some more of the artists is under Top Dog Entertainment. Um, and I'm just excited to go. Okay, guys. I, like, I really don't know where I'm going with this eye, but I'm just going to try to make this something cute. So hopefully we get something cute. Okay, so another cool thing coming up for me is um, that I am going to Miami and the Bahamas this summer. And I'm actually pretty excited. I've been to Florida before, but it was to go to Disney World. And I love the beach, so I'm pretty stoked about um, going to Miami. Um, and the Bahamas. Girl, I don't know what I'm going to do with myself in the Bahamas, but I know I will have a good time. I don't really know if I like this, y'all. Like, we're just trying. Okay, so I'm... I'm not sure what I'm doing, but right now it looks pretty okay, so I'm going to keep on working on this eye, come back over here in a minute, and I promise it's all going to come together at the end. I look a hot mess right now, but it will come together at the end. So let's keep on with the keeping on. Um, I guess I could talk about some products that I've been recently loving, um, skincare and uh, makeup. As far as skincare, I've been loving the Mario Badescu Caviar Day Cream. Um, it's recommended for dry skin, and I have like really dry skin. So I bought it on the 21 Days of Beauty, and it was like, I think 30 or some, something percent off, but I got it. Um, it's usually um, $20.00. It really moisturizes me well. I don't use it under makeup products, but I do use it when I'm wearing no makeup and I put a little bit of their facial spray on top. Um, recently, I've been loving the lavender one on top of my skin, and it just gives me a nice, healthy glow. Continuing on with the products that I've been loving, I forgot to mention a few, so I'm going to insert this clip and it's going to be like out of place, but <laughs> at least I did it. So, um, I recently been loving the Anne Reezy Anastasia Beverly Hills collab highlighter. That, when I tell you, let me get it. This highlighter is so bomb, like, y'all, in the summer, I dug my nail into it, but in the summer, y'all, this is going to hit. Look at look how pretty that is. Um, it retails for $28. You can get it online um, at Ulta or Anastasia's website. Or you can get it in Ulta in stores. Um, it's really good. One of my friends got me this for my birthday. And I really appreciate it because she knows I have to have this. So I got it. Um, I also been loving the Real Techniques Mini Beauty Blenders. They look like this. Um, this is a normal one, and then this little one. And I like to use this in the like little corners of my eye and to blend out like my um, eyeshadow base and like just little areas. Really, it's really neat. Um, I've also been loving the Glam Glow Glow Starter nude glow and i use this under my foundation as a primer i guess you can say i just use a little bit to get that underneath glow like the glowing within look um i'm not sure how much this mini one is i'm guessing it rank is probably like 15 20 dollars if i'm wrong sorry but um i don't really know how much it is but i got this a while ago I've also been loving the Makeup Revolution concealers. Um, let me get them. I got three, uh, these three shades, C12, C13, and C16. Um, it was buy two, get one free for Makeup Revolution, so I just grabbed the 
one of the darkest ones that I thought would be good for if I want to do a concealer type contour to get a nice um, Photoshop type of face like not Photoshop airbrush sorry airbrush type face um, they're actually pretty good they're compared to real techniques they retail for $7.99 um, like I said, they're really good thick concealers. The applicator looks like this very thick, very creamy. Um, you get, let's see, 11 fluid ounces in here. Um, it's pretty, pretty good. I don't really use a lot under since it's so thick and it's, com like I said, compared to Tarte Shape Tape and then you kind of know what you're talking about. Um, I think they're pretty good and for $8 it's worth a try. Um, and the last thing I've been loving are the Shop Miss A. If you guys never heard that of that, like it's like it's a UK based store and they have them in Texas, two only, one in Irving and one in Grapevine, and I've been loving their brushes. They range from a dollar to ten dollars and this is just a few of them. They're dirty, of course, because y'all know I shine to do my eyeshadow. Um, so I got these. Um, all the pink ones, I have a few more that came with it. I think it came with $12 for $10. And when I say these brushes, I would compare them to Morphe brushes. They're so good. Um, and that's basically the products that I've been loving as of now. Hey, y'all. This is what I've come with up with so far so I guess we're doing a halo eye um I don't know if I should put glitter down the middle this chocolate brown glitter I feel like that'd be so pretty so I'm gonna do that and come back and we'll get right back into the conversation I'm not even gonna lie to you I literally just I don't know I messed up and then I thought oh if I cover the whole thing it'll be so much better so I'm about to like not do eyeshadow and not do lashes and not do any makeup because it's so late and I'm so tired of doing it. So we're just going to finish up with the remaining things I want to talk about and end this video. Okay guys, just to wrap up the video, I'm going to end with saying makeup products that I'm excited to try or that I've been wanting to try. Um, the first thing I've been wanting to try for a while is anything Beauty Bakery. Um, I know it's black owned so I feel like it's another way to support black business um, I don't want to try the foundation um, I feel like because my skin is dry it'd just be not great um, I know you can use the oil but I just feel like it's not for, gonna be for me um, I also want to try the Bretman times Morphe highlighter palette it's $29 it comes with a fan and you know six shades in the palette um, it looks very friendly for the summer so maybe I'll Go to Ulta and try that. They now have it at Ulta, by the way, if you didn't know, in stores and online. Um, I also am excited to try out the Shayla and ColourPop collab. Uh, she came out with, I think, four lipsticks and a gloss, some loose highlighters, and an eyeshadow palette, I believe so. I'm not sure. I'll link the video. Um, she came out with that. It launches April 27th I believe and the lipsticks are really cheap they're only seven dollars and then the lip glosses are six dollars I mean the lip gloss there's only one and the lip gloss is like really y'all when I say glitter glore it's like really glitter like glitter e um so I'm gonna try that and support my sis um sorry to be wrapping up the video so quickly like I said like <laughs> this video was basically a fail like I went in not knowing what I was going to do today and then I actually left and went and spent the day with my grandma so like I tried to redo my brows, redo my shadow and then I put that glitter on. Y'all can see I have glitter all over me. Hot mess. So basically um, I'm a hot mess <laughs> and I'm going to try to film more and be more active on YouTube. Like I said since I'm going into the beauty industry now I'm going to try to you know be more productive on here as well since this is what I want to do. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed my video and see you guys next time.